All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Work with Ty Brownlow. I am your host, Ty Brownlow. Remember, no one is worthless, no story is worthless. Today, ladies and gentlemen, joining me all the way from a hey, Southern playlist of Cadillac music for your trunk, ladies and gentlemen. That's Atlanta, Georgia, for those of y'all that don't know that outcast phrase right there. But that's okay, man. But joining me all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, please put your hands together for Matt Hardiman. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> How are you, sir? That. All right, all right, all right. So look, I just want to get right into it, all right? You yes, sir. are a filmmaker, and you, man, just your first film. The title may be a little controversial to some, but I sort of <laughs> like it. But man, let's talk about it. Pulpit Gangster. Yes, let's sir. Talk about it. Like, how did all this come up? Tell us about the movie. Well, uh, the movie actually, uh, Pool Pit Gangster, was based off of a book that I wrote initially. Mm. Um, and and the, the book is titled Pool Pit Gangster, Life Inside a Cult. Yeah. And so, um, but, you know, the <sighs> that book was written initially just really just from me being in pain. Um, and, um, I don't know, man, when I got out of that environment, I felt like, I felt like my life was taken from me. Mm. And, um, and it was, it was written about a story or, um, this, I was a, a part of born and raised actually in this cult, uh, it's titled, uh, called the house of prayer, mm. uh, where the pastor, uh, name was Arthur Allen jr and um you know he he made i mean it, it it really did it made headline news um around the world uh because it was a it was a bunch of uh sex trafficking uh child molestation um all types of of abuse going on in that environment man it was uh it was really bad. And um, I myself was, um, I used to be, this this leader had a, a very, very sick mind. Um, and so he had an idea that, you know, he wanted to um, build a mega church. And, um, and so his idea was that he was going to take the young people, such as myself at that time, mm -hmm. and um, and make us mate with each other, so that we can bring children into his congregation. So I was I was basically a sex slave, yeah. and um, you know, of course, I had nine children in that environment, and. Um, you you do not pick and choose you know who you wish to be with um he's gonna tell you you know who you're gonna be with he's gonna he's gonna you know basically arrange someone for you um yeah i you know i i it was so much abuse going on and i mean i was even physically physically beaten before in that environment as well um by his goons of course right. um because you know he was trying to you know break me down if you will mm -hmm. uh, so that you know he could build me back up the way he wanted me to be he felt like you know this is the way it's like a game basically yeah. and um yeah so it's like um it, it's sort of like an initiation yeah so basically, you know, like this is really based off your life. You know what I'm saying? Like you have this book, but this is really about somewhat your life, you know? And uh, yes, sir. yes, sir, man, like, so A, I'll just say this, you know, A, I just commend you just on coming forward with that and just, you know, speaking out on that because I just know how hard that can be, you know? Yeah. 
for men and women, it doesn't really matter, you know what I'm saying? As individuals who have been through traumatic, you know, circumstances such as like, man, growing up in the cult and just growing up wrong in the cult, you know? Yes. And, uh, you know, like, and I'll just keep it real, you know, like, Sometimes in the African in in the African American community, man, you don't think about okay, well, no, there's you know, there's no way we get caught up in that. Everyone gets caught up in something all the time. Don't right. get caught up in people. Right. And I think that's the biggest misconception sometimes. I mean, right. I wouldn't know, but if I was a betting man, I would put money on that. That that's one of the biggest misconceptions you know like it just doesn't happen to us yes it right. does yes it does mm. Mm. yes it does i mean and i've watched i mean you're talking about i man i have witnessed pregnant women man i i i saw a pregnant woman that was about nine months pregnant get beaten with the belt that's crazy. because he said that yeah he, he he's the type where if you don't agree with him on anything, it's like he's God. So if if God says something to you and you disagree with God, then it's like now I'm gonna have you beaten by my goons. And they were beating this 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 lady with belts, man. This is a married woman. And I'm like, what in the world? I mean, my, I, I, he would, he would, his idea, man, he would, he would even instruct the men to beat their wives with belts. You know, uh, I watched my, my, from the age of about eight years old, I watched my mom get beaten with the belt by my dad because he told my dad to beat her because she was trying to leave the cult. He told my dad to beat her. And it broke me down, man. It hurt my heart. You know, I couldn't. I, it's like, that was too much for me. It was too much. Well, I, I mean, man, look, you know, like the mental aspect, I can only imagine, and you're talking about eight. And I and and you know, there's somewhat of a scientific fact that by the age of six, kids pretty much know everything they need to know. You know, yeah. so you growing up in this environment, you know what's right, you know what's wrong, you know who's hurt, you know who's not. You know. Right. So, um, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I know you were in the middle of something. I'm so sorry to cut you off. I'm so sorry. No, no. I I, I mean, I was just gonna say, you know, it, it's like. There were, see, the pastor himself, the so-called pastor, because mm -hmm. the real pastor wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. But he was also a pedophile. He was a child molester himself. So he, he, you know, he was big. He was, man, he had, a, this guy, he, he even forced, like he took, he would take 14 year old girls and force them across state lines so that they could even mate with, with much older guys. Yes. So let me just ask, you know, so when you're creating this movie, when you're yeah. putting this movie together, you know, and man, you know, as you just sat up here and told me in graphic detail, you know, just some of the things that you witnessed growing up. I can only imagine the other stuff, but just yeah. some of the stuff that you like, you know, share so far, like when you made this movie, like what was going too far, not going too far for you? Because some of the things you just said, okay, I could, man, like that's just wild. Making a movie, some men, based off some of the stuff that you've gone through to man like what was the tipping point and i'm on the edge of the tipping point for you when making uh, when making the movie yeah um 
I think for me, it was certain, you know, like certain scenes um, I had to step away. Um, I couldn't, I, 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 it's almost like I was reliving those moments. And, um, and so I, w- I would have to step away and regain, you know, my composure, man. Um, but one, it was one particular child molester over there, in addition to, to the, to the, to the pastor, the cult leader, mm. he, he molested about 15 or more babies. And one, one of which included my own daughter. My daughter was about five or six years old. And um, it broke me down, man. It really broke me down because I, I felt like, you know, one, I thought that he was going to at least, when we found out about it, this guy molested. When I'm talking about, I'm when I said babies, I'm talking about from about like 14 months old and up. Sick. Very sick. And I thought for sure that he was going to at least handle it. He said he was. And instead of him handling it, he justified the pedophile. He had a nerve to say that it was the children's fault. They wanted that to happen to them. The children's fault. You know, you know, I'll say this, man. You know, I've had a lot of people on this platform. I've heard a lot of stories, you know, some some very wild and bizarre ones this is pretty much up there with though you know like just the whole thing and what you're saying to me man like you know and the sad thing and the sick thing about it is this is stuff that goes on every single day and i'm not like i know we're sitting up here and we're having a hard time talking about it but You've gone through it. You man, yeah. you know what it's like to go through that type of environment. There are people going through this right now. As you and I sit here and speak, there are people going through this right now. And it's hard. right. Right. You know? Right. So let me just ask this, man. You know, like for people who will watch Pulpit Gangster, what do you really want them to get out of this? Mm. One, I want them to be aware. I want them to to wake up from this sleep, this stupor that they that that many of them, and just like I used to be in, and many others have been in for years. I want them to know that this type of stuff is happening in some of these environments, in many of these environments. But I want them to know that just because of these type of bad things that happen to you, because I know for myself, after I got out of that environment, I didn't even want to live no more. See, I gave up on life myself. And I felt worthless. I felt like I I didn't have any value, didn't have any purpose, didn't want to live. I was like a a shell of a man just existing, not really living. And I didn't want to be here no more. But I lost faith in the most high because I didn't believe in God no more. Uh, I felt like God wasn't real because I found out that that man wasn't real and and 
I was looking to him as my God. And, but the true God, the true most high presented himself to me and, and let me know that I did not know him for who he really was. And um, so I want people to know that when they see this film, I, w I want them to know that they have purpose. No matter what they've been through, no matter what, you know, despite their pain, their suffering, their trials, their tribulations, their even molestation or, or, or put down, you know, uh, disrespect, dishonor, them being devalued as a human being, whether they were used as a sex slave or molested or whatever the situation was, any kind of, even if it was verbal abuse, sometimes even verbal abuse could be just as damaging yeah, or more mm -hmm. than physical abuse. Mm -hmm. So I want them to know that they still they can use, they really can use their pain and turn it into their purpose. That pain can become their passion. And that's what it did. I, I, I really, it's like, I wanted others to know once I regained and was restored and, and, and my faith was renewed, I said, I, I have to reach back. I have to do something to help somebody, somewhere, somehow. And and so that's that's what for me, I I, I just want them to know that they have purpose. And, and 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 I want them to be aware and know what to even watch for. Because you could be sitting in some of these environments and you don't even know that you're involved in the cult yourself. But when you watch this film, I want you to, whatever, wherever you can, and, and if you start seeing certain signs and, 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 and you feel like, wait a minute, something is not right. Mm -hmm. Then a lot of times you need to, you need to, you need to watch your babies, watch your children. And you know, you saw the, the situation with that whole, uh, uh, you know, Eddie Long scandal. Yeah. With yeah. those boys. Bishop Eddie Long, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I mean? I don't care who it is. I'm gonna call you out, period. It's crazy, man. Right is right and wrong is wrong, period. That's it. So let me, and it's not that I'm shifting, you know, but as far as being a creator, like you yeah. are, you are a creative. Like that just don't look. You just don't wake up one day like, yeah, you know what, man? I'm finna write a movie. I'm finna do this. I'm finna do books. You know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm finna go out here and paint a mural. You ain't never painted a mural before, man. You know what? I don't care. I, yeah, I'm just gonna go out here and do it right now. <laughs> no one wakes up and the, man. No one. No one. Okay. All right. 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 But the idea and the thought the innovation came from somewhere yeah and even though you're going through all of these things even as a child i mean because from what i read i mean man you've been creative since the a what like five four five or whatever like that so yeah going through this you know what i'm saying like how does that develop into your creativity, man. You know, I developed, I developed, I, I'll be honest, man, from the age of about five, I've always, I, I've always loved acting for some reason, you know? Um, and uh, I, I remember, you know, I, um, I got in a little trouble. I, 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 <laughs> uh -oh. I, I, I was, um, you know, there was a stage play. I had, it was a elementary school stage play. Mm -hmm. that I, I had a little character in, you know, a little role. Okay. And, uh, see, when you're in that environment, you're not allowed to be a, a part of 
you know, anything like that, you know. Uh, they don't support certain things outside of what they have going on in their group. And um, yeah, so, uh, you know, my parents warned me not to be a part of that play. And I did it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I'm just gonna go over here anyway. I know, but so let me just say also as well, I mean, because you have to take into account you knew what the circumstances were going to be. Right? right. That's true. But I didn't know they were going to show up at the play. Well, <laughs> now, that's now. Okay, don't get me wrong. Now, that's one thing. That, yeah, that's all totally different. Yeah. You can expect the con. Like, yeah, I know it's going to be some consequences. I didn't think the consequences right. were bad. I didn't think they was going to be mobile. And like, right. oh, I'm here. I just thought right, I right. go back and then they'll right. just be there. Why y'all... Yeah. You know, like, yeah. oh, God, oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That ain't yeah. cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got in trouble for that one. Mm-hmm. But you know what? It still did not do away with my, I, I still, I still had that yearning. You know what I mean? I, I, I it just was there. It was a, na- it was natural. You know what I mean? It was natural. And, um, of course, it's, it's, it's kind of, sad that you know in a sense I won't even necessarily say sad but it's the fact that you know even now like when I decided that I was gonna get out of that environment um I lost my 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 biological parents you cannot know anybody leave that environment you lose everybody yeah you become excommunicated I was ostracized, doomed. I'm mean, considered doomed to hell and everything else. Um, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It was tough initially because it's like, man, these are my parents, my biological parents. They raised me, you know, um, but they disowned me. And, but now I'm thankful, you know? Like, I'm okay with that because it's like that environment is not healthy for nobody. And and the fact that, you know, all of that type of abuse that's been going on and, and if you can stand by and you can, you know, sit on the, on, on the seat of, of do nothing and, and stay silent, nah, nah. That is the ones that's doing it. Yes, you are. You're just as guilty. Yeah. You're just as guilty. And, and and so no, I you know yeah, but that's where my start. I you know I I just developed you know this 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 thing for acting and stuff, man. You know and and um, and when when I got out of that environment, everything that I was held back from, I decided that I was going to pursue my dreams. You know, and. Um, I'm thankful, man, to this day, you know. Um, it's nothing like, because when you when you are a slave, when you're in mental bondage, it, it's like, I don't know if a person can understand, but when you go 30 years a slave, and then you finally get a chance to break away That freedom is like something that is, how can you describe it? How can you explain it? You know, so it's like, that was like a new birth, a new life for me. You know, like you, 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 you know, you're born again, you know? Uh, you know, it's almost like you're starting over in a sense, but you you're like a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, hey man, uh, look, they call it the Phoenix rising, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's rising from the ashes and it's spreading its wings, you know. That's and, right. Yeah. Look, man, yeah. let me just say, you know, like everything that we've talked about so far and i'm just imagining it in my mind and i know 
you're the creative and i know man i'm a creative on my end you're a creative on your end and it's just right with these concepts and just having these ideas and having all these things in you to just bring them out you know i, I mean i just find your story very fascinating and now now that i hear you really talk about your story that just puts more man okay like yeah like i really want to see pulpit gangster now you know yeah, uh, yeah. it's really man you know this is telling and as you said you may be in something that you don't even think you are in or you don't even know that you're in don't you even know, know it. no don't even know it mm -hmm. don't even know it because you know what uh, but a lot of these quote unquote preachers, right? Mm -hmm. They know that many of the of the parishioners, the members are gullible. Mm -hmm. And they take advantage of that. They know that many of them, to be honest with you, they're simple minded. Mm -hmm. They're feeble minded. But you, you don't supposed to take advantage of that. You supposed to, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's why you supposed to assist them. You supposed to help them. But many of them are hurting them and they're, they're using these things to their own advantage. You know, they're pimping the people. All It's all about the money, all about the money. You know, pay your tithes, do this and do that. You know, cause God gonna bless you with a, a mighty good gift, you know, and all this old other stuff. And, and man, come on, man. I mean, really it's like, but then when you're in need of something and they say, tell you, brother, I'm gonna pray for you. You know, sister, uh, let's stretch our hands towards this sister and pray for her. Mm. Come on, man, really? Y'all do, y'all just collected thousands. Hey, man. In that bucket. Look, the more I hear you speak, and I mean, all my historians, y'all know this to be true. In the old days, there was only one person who had more influence than the king. It was the priest. Yeah. There was only one person who had more influence. I'm not going to say they were more powerful, but in a sense, <laughs> they were but in a sense they were let's yeah. just be real okay yeah. and historians know this to be true there's yeah. only one person who had more influence in that and those were priests wow so as i sit here and i listen to you say what you say you know what i'm saying like i mean man like come on man right come on, come on. Right. i mean connecting you know right. what I'm saying? i ain't I ain't even gotta go no further than that. Just right. to, if you're more powerful than, if you have more influence than the most powerful person, really, what is yeah. that for you? Yeah, yeah. And what does that make them? You right. Come right. On. So anyway, and many and many and many, and many uh, of um, these uh, members and stuff. I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. We're We've gotten beside ourselves. We've lost our focus hmm. in in the, in in some of many of these churches to this today to this day, uh, and because we are looking to man as our God, hmm. and man man will let you down. Hmm. He will fail you. Hmm. That's why we should not be putting our trust and confidence in man. Hmm. Because it, it, that's the same exact thing that I did. Hmm. And look what happened. Got let down. Hmm. Got let down. But that was, guess what? When you start idol worshiping, and you start putting man before the most high, then you let allow abuse to come in. Hmm. You allow all type types of, of, of manipulation, mind control, and everything else, because you gave man that position that only God should have. Man, look, we can take a turn and go down a path. I don't even want to do all that, because that that's like a three-hour show. 
I don't have three hours in. I don't know if you got three hours in. No, you know what? I probably do have three hours in. But no, you know what? No, no, no man. Like, I just find your story, like, fascinating, man. Like, I'm just, like, enthralled now because right. just about, like, the whole background. And, right. like, you know, pretty much what you're telling me. And now you have this vision. You have this film. You know what I'm saying? So let me just ask you, you know, like, let's just talk about being a creator for a second. Like, okay. in your opinion, in your opinion, in Matt Hardiman's world, what makes up a perfect story? Mm. I, I don't even know if I could even really say hmm. a perfect story. Okay, let's say a good story. But, okay, let's say a good story. I, I believe if you can captivate the audience, you can captivate the minds, or if, if it's like this, if, if if you can, because our minds are sort of conditioned a certain way already. Mm -hmm. And if you can tap into our psyche and you, and, and, and because a lot of times we're already intrigued, it is it is the curiosity of something. It's like it's like the curio it's curi it's the curiosity that killed the cat. Mm -hmm. But in our minds, we're we're curious beings. So if you can tell, if you can get your audience to lock in or to keep them keep their attention, if you can grab their attention early on and you can hold their attention throughout the entire process i believe as long as you're you're you don't want to lose them right so I, I believe in telling a story you have to be able to guide it's like guiding your your viewers mm -hmm. So you're telling them your mind. And that's what used to intrigue me. I used to wonder like, how is it that producers and directors, I, I used to wonder like when they put these films together, am I seeing like their mind? Mm. Mm. So, so, so just like we're talking right now yeah. and you're asking me certain questions and I'm answering certain questions, that's how the mind is. <laughs> so if you know that in telling the story, the mind has to be, you have to walk with it. And so it's like on a, a, even an airplane, you you start off on the runway. <laughs> you know I mean? No, that's true. And then eventually it has to take off. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> You in telling that story, you know, you you got to get it off the ground too, mm. and and then at some point you want to try to bring it back to a safe landing. Okay, you know, and so but you, um, it's just it's just don't lose your audience. You know what I mean? As much as possible, keep them engaged. And 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 may and try at least to make some sense <laughs> out of something. You know what I mean? Like some, I feel like even some movies that we make, and, and you know, I don't. Mm, I, I I wonder sometimes, like, is there even a message at all? No, you know, in this particular movie, or no. is, you no. know, and, and so sometimes, you know, I I do believe a, a good story has a good message okay. okay you know what i mean and and and, and let me and I, another thing about me i don't even like movies that take extremely too long to get to the point either <laughs> you know what i mean like like i'm okay with it taking a little while yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's like on, you bro. have to build up i mean, you <laughs> know what I mean? 
get off the runway though, you know. But <laughs> so, right, like, come on, man, you ain't even taxing. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I just, I don't know. I, I just think it, uh, it, it, you know, a good story, man, is just is something that makes sense. You know what I mean? And and that you can and that you can, you can you can captivate your audience, you know, and and keep them engaged, keep them locked in as much as possible as possible. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. Now, real quick, man, you know, uh, I know you have a production company called Madhouse Productions. Can you talk to us a little bit about that type of stuff you're doing over there? Yes, yes, yes. No, that's um, you know, we man, I I um I just found my lane. I found my lane, you know. Uh in addition to acting, you know what I mean? Um I just like producing. I, I really enjoy producing films, man. And uh, my production company, uh, Matt House Productions, um, it was it was it was birth, you know. And and you know that this 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 is our first film, Pulpit Gangster. Okay. And uh, yeah, yeah, and. Um, and now, you know, we're in the process. We have uh, about four, uh, four or five more now that we're working on. <laughs> yeah. Come on, but, uh, keep it, come on now, you gotta keep that wheel turning now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely. Um, 2017, man, was the year, you know, that uh, that I, I started, you know, this company, this, this production company. And, um, and I love it, man. I love it. Well, man, I could just tell just how your eyes light up and you just talking about <laughs> it. I could just tell how much you, I mean, well, look, man, you said something earlier about finding purpose. Yeah. And look, as long as I've been doing this show and interviewing people, it's been four years now. You know, I don't even, I'm like, damn, it's been four years, but you know like in that time in the people that i found who like man like yourself they found their lane i found my yes. purpose i found my drive yes and it's taking off yes and when you talk to them about it they look just like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you want to talk about what how oh i could talk about this all day oh my goodness man <laughs> <laughs> no but what it is it's 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 enjoying what you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's nothing like having fun, man. It's like you know when you when you when you're at work and you study, you know, you're looking at the clock. <laughs> it's, it and you know it seems like the clock is barely moving. You know what I mean? Oh. And, and you know it's oh. you're not really busy. You're not really you know it, you're not. It's like oh man, it's taking forever. Mm -hmm. Man, when is it gonna end? Please. But when it's something that you really enjoy doing, oh man, that's a different feeling, man. That's you ain't never so got cool. no time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like you know when it, and and it's a it's it gives me like a, a certain rush, you know, because it's like you know quiet on the set, quiet on the set, you know, camera rolling, camera rolling, sound speed, sound speed, good action you know what i mean it's just oh man it, it's it's a beautiful thing man it's a beautiful thing i i really enjoy it man i and you have to and i'm gonna tell you something shoot movie production is serious business too it is serious business yes sir and and so you have to you know be able to to manage the crew and make sure everybody's good you know uh and sometimes you might have to, you know what I mean? You, somebody might be getting ready to throw some blows or whatever, you know? Well, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff goes on behind scene, the scenes. Okay. And you, okay. you don't get a chance to see some of those things, but that is happening. Well. And so, yeah. So you might have my, my security team might have to usher a few people out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, stage left. Yes. Right. All yeah. of them. All yeah. of them. Yeah. 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 All of them. Exactly. But okay. So <laughs> let's just stay right here because man, let's just talk about the elephant in the room right now. Right. right. You're a creative. Yes. You just 
man put out a perfect scenario yes man people have to get paid yes there are people working behind the scenes there's a lot of stuff that happens on yes. the set that a lot of people don't man there's a lot of attitudes going on <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> on this man on a set trust me yeah. people are ready to choke each other all right <laughs> i've seen it I'm like oh my god but anyway uh that's true i want your thoughts mm -hmm. on the current writer strike you know and for those who just may be you know totally out the loop if you wonder why there's a whole bunch of reruns on television right now why you're not getting your new NCIS or all that other good stuff you be watching, you know, there's a right stream going on right now. It, it really is. It really is. But you know what? I can't, I, 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 to some degree, I can't really blame them. Okay. Okay. So talk to me as a creator. Like, all right. Why? As a creator. Now, here's the thing. Now, I wrote this film as well, Pulpit Gangster. I'm the writer of it. But let me tell you something. It was easier for me to write this film because it was my story. I lived it. I, I'll i be honest with you, I, I had to, I was, most of the, it's kind of like, this, this particular film, it was kind of laid out for me. Uh, the scenes and all of that, because it's based on a true story. These are, these are, these are actual events that you know what I mean that that it was it was not really that complicated for me to write um but writers they have a really big job because they have to go full in with their creativity with their mind there they have to you know they have to even give you what you're looking for they have to give you they all of this what i was talking about keeping your audience engaged and doing all these things if they don't do that you don't have a story sir <laughs> and people guess what guess what it's not it, it what as they say what sales is the story People like a good story. Now, you may have some scenes that may be a little, you know, not quite like you would like for it to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. You know, you might have some goofs or you have, might have some mistakes here or whatever, whatever. But if that storyline is intact, that's what really counts. So a lot of times who's making much of, I would even say, you know, the money or the bulk of the money and all of that is is it is the higher ups, is the the directors and the producers, um, and 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 even I would even say some some of the 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 main characters, actors and stuff, but but the writers a lot of times uh, they I don't feel like they they get their proper share because you know like uh, of what they put into the actual story and into the actual movie so yeah i i don't blame them i don't blame them i i feel like they need more respect i feel like they need more credit you know uh because yeah if, if it had not been for them <laughs> you have no story yeah like you know so it makes sense it really makes sense it really makes sense yeah so i support them too i feel like writers need their proper share yeah writers and teachers writers and teachers man, oh, those are tough boy, are man. writers and teachers i'm telling you those are tough i you know whoo, and, and and guess what see the thing is even myself um when whoo, yeah that's just tough that's just tough, man. I mean, writers and teachers, like you said. Hey, man, look are, at it, boy. Two tough professions, you know, because it doesn't work without you. You know? I, that, and that's why I, I've always supported teachers. Mm -hmm. 
you know, even with some of my own children, even though they were knuckleheads sometimes, you know, I, I, I would have to, I would have to, as much as possible, I've always tried to support the teachers, you know, because I used to say to myself, like, um, you're really doing something that I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want that job. <laughs> you, I, I, I celebrate you. You know what I mean. Like keep keep up the good work. <laughs> you say yeah. I don't want that job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not you, that you, one. You got that. You got that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I I do. I I appreciate. I appreciate creativity. Period. You know, and it takes patience too. Okay. All right. Come on now, preach now. Yeah. So now look. Where can people watch Pulpit Games? Tubi. There it is. It's on Tubi right now. Oh. It's streaming on Tubi right now. I need everybody and their mama to watch this powerful true story film. If y'all yes, yes, just yes, now yes. Than what we didn't talk about. Pulpit Gangster. It's on Tubi right now. I'm telling you, man, and and I and to, to be honest with you, I, I have to say, man, I'm so appreciative. I'm very humble, man, and, and thankful because this film, man, uh, to be honest with you, it it has been viewed millions of times, millions of times already. Run them streams up, and, uh, and 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 I'm I mean millions of people. And it's like, oh man, this is beautiful, man. This is something that that I I desire. And the people, they are the ones who are pushing this film. They are the ones who, are in, the, in the buzz and the talks and all of that, is heavy right now. <laughs> Word of mouth is the best. Is the best. Okay. Yes. Promotion. Yes. Yes. When the people yes. talking about it, you know you got something. Yes, yes, yes. I like and 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 I'm I'm thankful, man. I, I'm very, very, very appreciative. I've, I've been through a lot, uh, but but to be able to share my story, um, in hopes that it would inspire, encourage, uplift, um, somebody somewhere somehow, um, to 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 do better, um, to. And yes, there's a lot of uh, abuse and, and a lot of dark scenes, um, but it, it was a lot of dark deeds that took place. And I am not one who's going to stand by and allow and keep keep allowing these type of, of, of situations to happen. And, and when we can come together and, 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 and stand up and do something about it, it's really a movement. Pulpit Gangster is a movement. And and because I know that that there are many, many others out there that have been abused, whether it's been physically or sexually or, or however, verbally or whatever the case is. Abuse is abuse. And and, and God is not for abuse. No, he's a, he's a, he, he's a God of love. And I believe that more people need to step up and speak out and talk about these type of situations that's happening. And um, and even they need to start writing. I believe they should even write about their pain, their suffering, their, their you know, right? Because everybody I feel have a story to tell. And, and yeah, even you. Man, brother, yeah. And Even well, you, you know sir. what? I'm going to say this, you know, and you know this to be true just like I know this to be true. Sometimes when you pull the cover back on something so delicate to others. Yeah. But it's, but it's delicate to them on their terms. Yes. Not because it's what it is. Yes. I only use it for my terms. Right. You pull the cover back on stuff like that. You're fighting a mentality. And yeah. I've always equated to like a flower trying to grow out of bad soil. Yes. Bad soil at the top is very hard. Yes. But the deeper you go, it's still fresh soil. But you're trying to sprout up. 
and yes. the more you're trying to sprout up, man, it becomes tough. It becomes yes. like you damn near can't get out sometimes. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. Some flowers die. Some flowers grow out of those cracks. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? And they grow to be beautiful flowers. You know what I'm yes. saying? You, my friend, you got through the cracks. You got um, through that top layer of soil. You got um, out. Man. I and appreciate you, that, man. You I appreciate it. All praises. All praises to the most high for that, man. Man, bro. Like, yeah. Like, you got to understand, you know, I really don't think that's something that a lot of people take into consideration. I'm not even going to say they understand. They just don't take it into consideration. You yeah. Know, because no one wants to hear them, man, no one wants to, you know, be told, well, you only think a certain way. And it's right. true. You know what I'm saying? No one wants to be told that because we all walk around with this false idea that we're independent. Yeah. And it's not true. And no. I'm going to keep it even more funky right here. As little kids say, I'm going to keep it funky with you. I'm going to keep it honey. A trillion. Right. Okay. Man. Hate me or whatever. But these are going to be some real words that will be spoken. A lot of us so-called black, pro-black people for the community are walking around with European mindsets. Oh, and that's just real. Wow. Because you take the mindset of your oppressor. Wow. You know, to really have, man, so no, 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 let's stop. That's deep, man. Well, that's deep. I'm not lying. No, but you're if not. If you lying. really sit here and break it down, just think about what's going on today, man. Just you're think about lying. how the mentality is. You you're know not what lying I mean? at all. I support what you just said 100 percent Man. Look here. It's my show. I can say whatever I want. This ain't Dr. Phil. I ain't on no network. Come on now. Let me, let me <laughs> tell you, man. I, yeah, <laughs> exactly. 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 Yeah, yeah. And I support what you just said 100 percent Okay. All right. Yes, so. I do. I, I didn't mean to cut you. I'll keep going. Oh, no, 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 man. That's it. Oh, no, no. Don't get scared now. No, that's you my <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look here. It man, ain't, look here. Keep going. <laughs> look here. It ain't much more to say. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you really break it down, man, you know, look no further than social media. Look no further than, you know, the mindsets of just where we are today. You yes. Know, men and women. You know, yes. um, there's just a constant battle. There's yes. a constant battle. And right. I mean, man, for those who are truly about the unity and love or whatever, oh, they get talked about, they get exiled. Well, you have the LGBT community on the rise now. Well, and I mean, that's something, yo, bro, man, that's, man, that's something totally with, that's like a whole nother planet. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Man, yeah. man, coming into our system because yes. you can look at that so many different ways, man. And, you know, there's a time and place for that, you know, but we're here to talk about pulpit gangster right now. And everything yeah. that Matt Hardiman got going on. But yeah. Yeah, we will get to that. But, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but I was just saying, I was just no, saying, no, no, no. you know, you know, because really, uh, the society have gotten out of control now. Man, dude, like, you really, yeah, it's like I said. And, 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 and I, I'm all about, I'm all about uplifting. Yes. I'm not, I'm not about, I'm not about all of this stuff, this mess that's going on today. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I like, I don't, I don't hold my tongue. So, so that's why I said I support you 100%. Yeah, hey man, look. Because like, right is right and wrong is wrong. And, 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 and the most high still want us to hold on to our sanity. Yeah. Come on, man. Look, it's a... It, the minute everybody figures out we're all being played. Yeah. The man, that's when they get scared. That's yeah, all I'm yeah. That's all I'm gonna say when yeah, and I'm gonna say this one more time: the minute 
everyone figures out they're getting played, yeah, is going to be the second they start to fear everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, man, it's not a black and white thing if you really, like, if you, if you really take time to really cut the meat, it ain't a black and white thing. Yeah. It ain't a black and white thing. As much as they want to make it that, it's not, man, if you really cut the meat real thin, player, yeah, it, you really start to see, and there's just certain things that I see that, I mean, man, like, yeah, okay. Right. I, I, I know, I, I know you're right. I know you're right, but, but you know, me, myself, as an Israelite, yeah. Um, I know that, you know, I'm a child of the most high. That's right. Come on now. Talk I, to I, I believe in Christ. And and I know that that the way the world is going right now, it's a it's a mega mess. Mm. It, it's, it's, it, and God is not the author, author of confusion. And it's a spirit of confusion going on right now. I'm going to tell you exactly that's what's going on. And, 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 you know, you have men and women who have really truly lost their own identity and their minds because they, they, they don't even have common sense anymore. They say common, common sense is not even common now. Man, look here. I don't need nobody to tell me that my son uh, is, <laughs> what do you mean? My, my, that's my son, it's not my daughter. Hey, boy. And there's no, there's no they and them all of these pronouns and all this stuff. What in the world is that, man? I I thought basic, basic when you when you were in grade school, you know, you learned, you know what I mean? You know? Well, I mean what a boy what? and a girl was, but you talking about now it, they they are they're passing laws now with, with this transgender stuff and mm -hmm. and now children are able to I'm like, what in the world? I you know what, I'll be honest with you. I feel like those that are supporting this type of mess need to be arrested. Mm. They need all, and the ones who are supporting it and advocating for this type of mess should be arrested. Mm. They should be dealt with mm. because it's wrong Amen. according to the Most High. And in, 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 the, in the eyesight of the Most High, uh, there's no, no, your, 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 your boy should be a boy, your girl should be a girl. Um, that's just common sense, and 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 me and you, we should have enough sense to know that women are too beautiful out here for us to look at each other <laughs> in any other way than we should. <laughs> now, how how much sense do you have to have to know that, me, dude? Me and you look alike. I don't want you. Well, let's just keep it real. <laughs> well, no, 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 because, you know, there are people out here who like to deal with facts and all these yeah. studies and this and the other, you know, and they yeah. don't believe in the eye test. So right. for those people who don't believe in the eye test, man, we know it to be true. Like, let's just talk about the, you know, transgender or whatever, even yeah. in the male population. Yeah. Called transgender men that were in prison with women. You yeah. Know? They end up assault, sexually assaulting these women over time. You yep. Know yep. So, like, you're telling me that it's a choice, or That's, it's not a choice. This is what it is. I mean, that, but, yep. But, yep. But, but you and I know at the end of the day, science is science, bro. Science is science. Science, science, science. is science. And science that science right science. there ain't nothing but an experiment that yep. has proved what we all know. If yep. you're biologically this, man, yes, you know what I'm saying, and you're around this, right? These things are going to happen. Yes. We're all animals of nature in some yes. sense. Just because we ain't outside crawling around or jumping from tree to tree or flying, you know, yes. it don't mean we ain't animals, bro. We that is so true. We all have the same makeup. We all react, and you know, man, it's. Read and react. And, read and react. Yes. All and, 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 and we supposed to be able to procreate by nature. Nature. <laughs> nature. 
society comes to a stop. It comes to a halt. It, 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 if, it, it, if 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 two women or two men are trying to 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 mate with each other, it doesn't make sense. No. So it, it it used to be a time when people would say, "Nah, that that don't you know no that doesn't make sense." But now it's like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and I heard someone actually, uh, it was a teacher, I believe. She got fired. She lost her job mm -hmm. because she refused to call this boy or 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 this girl or whatever uh, by a, a, a day or, or we. I'm like, what in the world? Are you serious? Hey, look, man. <laughs> that's a talk for another look look okay no, i'm just gonna say this i'm just saying man i'm just saying i'm no, just no, saying no. I, i'm saying at the end of the day we got to tighten up we got to pull it together and stop like you just said we have to change that european mindset because that is not a part of our culture i know it's not it I'm ain't telling you right now it's not it ain't so that let's is not off that no for real man look here look we gonna be on this for a minute, but <laughs> if people try to get in contact with you, man, they want like, man, they want to know what's going on with you. They want to know more about Madhouse Productions, what have you. How can they do so? They can go to uh, madhouseproductions.com or, uh, you know, they can uh, just, um, you know, follow us on uh, Instagram, you know, uh, matt.house67. And that's M A T T dot house sixty seven. There it is, y'all. There it and, is. Uh, yeah, and you know, or or they could, you know, go to our our Facebook page, Pulpit Gangster. They could they could follow us there on on, on our our uh, Facebook. But you know, listen, man, I'm telling you, I I'm very I'm very thankful. I appreciate all of the support. I, I appreciate you even, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> for allowing me, you know what I mean, to, to come on and, and uh, you know, have some dialogue with you. And, and uh, you know, definitely, man, I, I, I appreciate my people. Um, you know, that, that's, that's, that's real, that's real. I appreciate my people and, and I need them. I need them. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I'm a little different than, uh, from Tyler Perry. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> I, listen, I, I need my people. I, I need mine. I don't know. I, you know, some people, they get to a point where they don't need, you know, they get a little too big, you know. And, uh, hey, I, I need, yeah, I need my people. No <laughs> lies told there, sir. Okay, all right, all right. Now, hey man, look, I'm whatever. Look, at it. You're right, you're right, right. Uh, before we get up out of here, you know I ain't gonna let you go without. Yeah. Come on now. I gotta, man, I gotta ask this question. This is the question that my show is known for, but I would love to get your answer. Okay. All right, Mr. Matt Hardiman. Yes, sir. What is the one word that best describes you and why? Mm. I would say courage. Why? I would say courage. Um, it takes courage to be able to go from, again, being born and raised a slave taken advantage of for many years. Break out of that situation with the help of the Most High. And then go back. One, and rescue all nine of my children that I had in that environment. I could not, and I even tried <laughs> To, to rescue my children's mom unsuccessfully of course 
but everybody make their own choices. But I was able to rescue them and gain custody of all nine of them and then push forward to deal with Hollywood and bring this entire film to the forefront, mm -hmm. knowing that it's controversial, knowing that, you know, people are gonna talk about it. People are gonna say, oh no, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we don't want that. That's too, no, no, that's talking about the pastors and the preachers and the, the wrongdoing in the pulpit. No, no, don't bring that. We don't wanna hear that. And to be able to face all of that, knowing that sometimes you have to stand alone no matter who's going to support you, no matter who's going to be with you or, or, or whatever the case is. Because when you are on the side of right, it takes, a, to me, it takes courage to be able to do that despite all of the naysayers and the haters, you know, and the busybodies, the ones who, you know, who want to be like that, those crabs in a barrel. <laughs> you know, the more you try to get up and the higher you go up, and the more they, <laughs> they try to pull you down. So it takes courage to do those things. And I believe I was made for this. Um, and, and I believe um, that's what I would say sets me apart because I'm not, I'm not afraid. I used to be afraid, but I lost that. Um, because, you know, and even in order to get out of that environment, you have to be willing to lose all. You risk all, even, even, even your, your very life. You have to be willing to give it all up. And, and that's exactly what I did. And, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. So I would say courage. Yes, courage. You know, my word, I'm going to add on to that. Triumphant. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, all right. So I'm just going to get this brief explanation. Okay. <laughs> You're here. I appreciate that, man. Humbly. Wow. You're here, bro. Man, like, you have to, and we and, and see, we talked about people understanding concepts and moments of time and things of that nature. Understanding yeah. the moment. So, yeah. understanding the moment that we're here right now, having this dialogue, talking, you explaining to me about the things that went on those who may not understand once they see pulpit gangster they're going to understand a oh, hell of a lot more yes. than what they thought they knew right and right. as you said for the naysayers those are the ones i mean as you said the ones who sit around and they're quiet watching the show are just as guilty as the ones performing in the show wow wow so I say courageous. You say triumphant. <laughs> triumphant, man. Because you're here. Like I said before, man. Wow. You're that flower that had to go through the soil. And you know in order to get out of this pot and to get out of this jam, you got to break through this crust layer, dude. That's not wow. easy to get out of. Wow. It hasn't been watered. It hasn't been poured into. It hasn't been like raked or whatever. So you don't know what rich soil you have underneath. You know what I'm saying? So over time, it compacts, compacts, compacts. It's hot. It breaks mm. up. It's crusty. This, this, that, and the other. It compacts. Man, do you know how hard it is for a, for a plant, for a seed to like grow? In bad wow. soil? Wow. It's damn near impossible. 
Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Wow. But it does happen. So wow. that's what I say triumphant, man. I appreciate that, man. Humbly. I appreciate that. Hey, man, really I'm just do. a dude with a show, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. all I do. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that, man. I, I don't know. I just... You know, I, I feel like um, to be courageous and even to be triumphant, um, those, to me, I, I know those those may sound like, you know, huge, I would even say positions or, or, or huge accolades, but I think they're still humbling. Those are humbling accolades to me. It's just something that you made for. It's, it's what you do when your back is up against the wall. So it's like it's like it's just something that the that the most high instilled in you. He put that there. And you just walking out your purpose. You live in your purpose. Amen. Hey I am. Um blessed to have this platform because as I said before and I've said it many times I don't know if I get we don't ever get a chance to meet if I don't have this platform we don't have this conversation right you know what I'm saying you may have a conversation somewhat like this right one else right it's not this conversation (laughs) you understand what I'm saying right it's not this conversation that you're having right right I am, man, like to meet people from all over, man, all walks of life who just, man, as I said, my motto, no one is worthless, no story is worthless, man. I wow. understand, bro. I, man, I understand, you yeah. know? And like to really have the non-judgment. People think I'll be tripping sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, why you not like, like, bro, I'm not here to judge, no, man, look here. They do what they do. You know what I'm saying? People right. do what they do. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, how can I get upset with you for being human? Yeah. I'm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. going to do something that you're not going to particularly like. You know what I'm saying? It may yeah. not be very cool or, you know, to the point right. where you're not hanging out with me no more. But right. you're gonna do something that you're not gonna like. You're gonna do something that I'm not going to like. You right, know? right. So do I just get rid of you at that moment? But give me my right though. You know I what give I mean? You your right to do you. Yeah, but see, look, but but give me my right to not I, I don't have to approve of what you do either. You get what I'm saying? Like, like that's what I, I it's like, <laughs> dude, you can't force me to accept what you're doing if I don't accept it. But yet, if it's the other way around, you say everybody have a right to choose and everybody have a right to this and that. Well, then let me have my right. Look, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. I have a boy that raps sometimes and he has a lyric that says, you know, people don't read, they feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So since y'all feel, I'm going to put everything in braille. Yeah. <laughs> since y'all blind anyway, right? I mean, yeah. hell, it's right yeah. in front of you. You can't see it. So I'm just going to put it in braille for you to feel. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then, you know what? You can judge for yourself. All right. Yeah. You know, but that's just what it is, man. Okay. Okay. I got to wrap this up. But I'm just going to say this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Look at he is part of the show now all right you are man look at the doors to word with ty brownlow are open to you sir anytime um, you want to come back that. no <laughs> listen to me anytime you want to come back i don't care man brother if you want to talk about throwing wooden spoons across the damn street i don't care. <laughs> okay we can talk about that that's cool you know what i'm saying i got a couple of wooden spoons up here anyway you know what I'm saying? Oh, man you i know? appreciate that man they old, but whatever. Hey, that that hey. <laughs> no, it still work. You're it's right. Good. Hey, hey. Still scoop now. Okay. There you go. There you go. 
But no, man, look, man, seriously, like, man, anytime you want to come back, whatever you got going on, please, like, come back. Talk to us. I appreciate that, man. Let us know what's going on. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Word with Ty Brownlow. I've been your host, Ty Brownlow. Remember, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. You can follow me, all social media platforms, Word with Ty Brownlow, or you can just go to my website, tybrownlow.com. You're going to get this this gospel right here. This good gospel right here. <laughs> Plus other great conversations as well. Mr. Matt Hardiman. Yes, yeah, sir. I appreciate you, sir. No problem. <laughs> Thanks.